What we're going to do in this video is take a look at pitch correction. So I'm actually just going to leave all of this off and we're just going to listen to our original voice through pitch correction right here. So the uh, vocal comes down through here and all of these are down at minimum. And this dry version is actually the pitch correct version. So I'm just going to hit play now. Time is on my side, but I now if I turn this off, you can hear the original unpitched voice. The clocks, they won't rewind. But watching you might find. So you can hear that pitch correction going on there, and it's got that cool sort of uh, autocorrect sound. Now you can use it for that alone, but I'm actually going to show you some other ways you can use it too. So to start off with, we've got key, and we can choose to have a major or a minor key, and then you can also set the key that you're in too. So do it F sharp minor. Side, but I don't know when. It's going to be pushing that vocal to fit in that key. The clocks, they won't rewind. But watching you might find that when the day turns into night. So as you can hear there, that didn't quite sound right. I'm going to go down to D minor. Time is on my side, but I don't know when. And that sounds a lot better. Now, if you're really not sure what key you should be in, just go to chromatic scale. This will open up the whole keyboard range to vocal synth, and it will just auto-tune it to the closest semitone. Time is on my side, but I don't know when. So that's probably the easiest way just to get that sort of auto-corrected sound. The next thing you can do, though, is go down to custom and create your own scale. So I happen to know that I want a scale something like this, I believe. I'm going to use this input right here. And I've used this tuning because the melody that I'm going to use Time is on my side, but I don't it just fits a lot better like this. The clocks, they won't rewind. But watching you might find that when the if I turn this off, just use one note. You get some really cool effects there as well. And when there's none to answer to, there's no one left to question you. This moment is ours, 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 this moment is ours. If I was to turn this off now, but I don't know when. And here, that's really off. The clocks they won't rewind, but watching you might find that when the day turns into night, the shadows they. So that's your custom tuning for you, and you know I actually really like it like this, and I also like it with just the one note. That's pretty cool as well. Side, but I don't know when. Just depends on what you're going for. Now, over here, you can see we've got high, mid, and low. What that's going to do is tell this uh, plugin where to look for the vocal range. So, if you've got a low voice, uh, it's going to be optimized to do the pitch correction for low voices. So, if you've got a low male, here, maybe if you've got a high pitched voice, uh, this one's probably a good general setting for most things. Time is on. Now, this is the strength of the autocorrection. So we can bring that right back down to zero. Time is on my side, back to where we started. I, don't know when. I could bring this only up halfway if I wanted to do some sort of the gentle correction. Rewind, but watching you might find that when the day it sounds quite odd because we've got speed up to full. Let me bring the speed down. So the speed is basically how fast it snaps it to the correct pitch. So if you've got a low strength but a fast speed, it might sound a little bit odd. But if we use the slower speed, something more gentle, I mean anything below 50 is going to be quite a bit more gentle and natural. Let's try this out. Time is on my side, but I don't know when. Now one of the reasons this still doesn't sound right is because we're trying to force it into a key that it doesn't actually have to start with. So as we're forcing it into a different key anyway, I'm actually going to push this up to 100%. But I'm going to use a slower speed now, so it should sound a little more gentle. Time is on my side, but I don't know when. The clocks, they won't rewind. A little slower. And you might find that when the day turns into night, the shadows, they fade. 
And when there's none to answer to, there's no one left to question you. This moment is ours. This moment is ours. This moment is ours. This moment so is ours. So this speed at 100% is where you're really going to get the cool, um, really autocorrected sound. I actually think it sounds fantastic when he starts going to vibrato and this thing starts glitching out between two different notes here. You can hear it on the last word of every other bar. To answer to. There's no one left to question you. This moment is ours. 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 So using pitch correction, you can force something to go into a new scale that will fit the actual carrier material. So a very cool, powerful effect. I mean, if I was trying to force this into a key that was actually really close or in fact identical to the original, I could get away with a slower speed and more gentle strength. So that would be more traditional pitch correcting, really. But, you know, I like to throw this into full effect to get that crazy sound. But personally, I love to throw it in full whack and get that autotune sound. Okay, so that's it for the vocal pitch shifting that I wanted to show you. The next thing I'm going to show you just real quick here is I've got a drum beat loaded and I want to show you that you can actually use pitch correction to change the pitch of the kick drum. Now, whether this is really going to be ideal or not is going to depend on the mix you're doing, but it actually sounds pretty good. So take a listen. This is our original pitch. Unfortunately, we do have it converted into mono once we put it through the processor here, but let's take a listen to what we can do. So in a pinch, if you really needed some pitch correction on, say, some drums or bass, you know, this could kind of do it for you, depending on the mix. So that's it for the pitch correction video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.